Hey everyone, this is Cappy, and you're listening to Just the Plate, a production of Beyond the Plate. Just the Plate is a short segment where chefs describe a dish or a recipe that is meaningful to them. Last week, you heard from Chef Thomas Keller, chef owner of the French Laundry in Napa and Per Se in New York, among many other restaurants, Bouchon, Bouchon Bakery, Ad Hoc and Addendum, La Calenda, the Surf Club restaurant in Miami, and now Tack Room in New York City, where we sat for this author of five cookbooks, more than a million copies in circulation. Most chefs have one of his cookbooks sitting on their shelf in their kitchen, I can imagine. I'm not going to go too deep into his bio. One, I don't think it's necessary. Two, if you missed last week's episode, be sure to check it out. You could hear it in that. But for now, the Salmon Cornet. Uh, Chef Thomas Keller has made plenty of dishes famous. This one, Oysters and pearls, coffee and donuts. Tons of chefs have taken inspiration from this dish to make it their own. That's what chefs do. This dish was, it's a super interesting story. I don't even want to get into it, but it came into chef's life when he was very sad, combined with a trip to Baskin Robbins, believe it or not. And it originally was not made with salmon. How's that? I'm going to stop because you'll hear all this in the episode. This is Just the Plate. All right. Uh, so, so one of the preparations that I want to share is the um, the salmon cornet, and it's become recognized certainly at the French Laundry in a per se, you know, as that that first bite that you get, you know. But it's also been, you know, copied around the world, and I'm I'm I'm, I'm very happy that you know we are able to influence and impact other chefs, and as they do me, you know, there's this there's this universal exchange of knowledge that always happens. So the salmon cornet, and where did that come from? Came from a time in my life when I was really really sad. Um, and I was sad because I was leaving New York City, you know, a city that I considered my home, uh, that, that, I, that I loved. Uh, my friends were here. My restaurant, Raquel, was here. Um, I had kind of grow, started to grow up in my career in, in New York City after coming back from France. So it was a sad time in my life because um, Raquel had, had failed to a certain level. And uh, my partner, Serge, and I decided to modify what the restaurant was. And we renamed it Cafe Raquel and made it more casual, which led me to to make a decision in my life and my career, what did I want to do? Did I want to be a casual dining chef or did I want to be a fine dining chef? And I embraced fine dining and I was leaving New York City and some friends of mine, some very good friends of mine took me to a restaurant in Chinatown that we would visit once a month or so and that was a restaurant called Phoenix Gardens. And we had a wonderful lunch there on a Sunday afternoon and typically to what we always did, we'd walk across the street to Baskin Robbins to have an ice cream cone. Now, during this time, I had, I had already been hired um, in, in Los Angeles by Bill Wilkinson, uh, a very famous man who, who actually is recognized as the man who developed the boutique hotel at Campton Place. And he had opened Checkers in, in LA and he said, you're gonna come to Checkers. When you arrive, there's gonna be a food and wine festival here. It's a big food and wine festival and I want you to wow the Angelinos. You know, so I have this pressure of going into a new job, moving to a new city that I didn't really know with the expectation of wowing a whole different, a whole city of Angelinos with something that I had to do at a sad time in my life when I'm leaving New York City, you know, my, my, my restaurant, Raquel, my partnership with Serge, and we're having a Baskin Robbins ice cream cone. And the young lady, you know, as always, you know, scoops out the ice cream and puts that in that little holder that's on top of the counter. And what do I see? I see the coronet. I see this little, I see this little cone uh, with salmon on top. Actually, it was originally it was tuna, um, but with with chopped fish on top. And it, when you think about it, as it evolved from the tuna to the salmon, which became the most recognized because that, because the the coronet is about the French laundry and and then and then certainly about per se, but it is it was a cracker. And it's a twill, a uh, savory twill. And we make twills all the time in our restaurants. Mostly they're sweet. We made this one savory and we wrapped it around a coronet to make it look like an ice cream cone. We put sour cream and or creme fraiche and minced red onions inside the coronet and salmon tartare on top. And so what it is, is a cracker with sour cream and onions and salmon. And something that's so... It's a recognizable reference points to flavors that you've had in the past presented in a different way that makes you smile. 
And so if you think about an amused gull or an amused bush, which is what the words are used in France to, as describing that first bite that you have that amuses the palate, the cornet not only amuses the palate because of the reference points to the flavor profile, but it has to make you smile because it's so damn cute. And so the cornet is just that. It's a, it's, it's a savory twill with uh, creme fraiche, chopped onions, and then salmon tartare on top. Find more on Chef Thomas Keller by Googling Thomas Keller. I'm kidding. You can find him at thomaskeller.com. This episode was produced by myself, along with Ian Cohen, Joe Yeaton, and Sean Petrosian. Find me and keep up to date with this podcast across all social media platforms at On Cappy's Plate or go to beyondtheplatepodcast.com. Beyond the Plate is on Twitter at BT Plate Podcast and Facebook. Please rate, review, and subscribe to this podcast on your listening site of choice. Thank you for listening to Just the Plate, a production of Beyond the Plate. I'm Cappy.